Hey guys, Misty Burmeister here out on the Appalachian Trail. This is the final morning. We're here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's Saturday. We're packing back out. We still got about two and a half miles left. A quick little recap on some of the lessons I got from this experience. Number one, actually I think the biggest lesson in life for me so far that I've learned is without challenge you don't grow. With was it Joel Salton, a, a farmer, a guy that runs Polyface Farms down in the Shenandoah Valley says, Dis uh, disruption is critical for growth. Well, I think dis uh, discomfort is critical for growth. And I just kept learning that over and over and over again. Um, also, another great lesson I've learned out here is that before you push the go button on the video that you remember all the lessons that you're gonna share. Isn't that fantastic? I don't remember them all. What are you doing? But if I had to remember them all, I would say I've also learned out here is to be patient and kind <laughs> as possible. You know what? Here's another thing I've learned is that we all have these mood swings and different things prompt the mood swing. And if you just pause before you know it, it'll it'll loosen up and give yourself plenty of space and whoever you're with plenty of space to have those moments of frustration and irritation. And if you just let them have it, then it'll go away all on its own. Um, simplicity is such a beautiful thing out here in nature. It's, I mean, it, it makes me appreciate just how little we actually need which is another big thing I learned yesterday um, needed some feminine products wasn't ready for that out here and um, had no idea how I was gonna get through the rest of the hike without something and just so happens that the, the place that we stayed had some paper towels which was helpful not gonna be perfect for the whole rest of the trip but it was helpful in the moment then I came across a ranger, actually went to a little ranger station. I walk in, there's two uh, gentlemen sitting at these desks and I said, um, you guys don't happen to know where I can get some feminine products, do you? Uh, n n no, no. <laughs> I said, uh, we should call Beth. I don't know if that was her name. I don't remember what her name was, but we should call Beth. She's the major, you know, the, the, the uh, head person out here. She, she might have something. Just as they were getting ready to call her, she comes in the back door and uh, the guy looks at me and he goes, uh, you want to go back there and, uh, you know, talk to her? <laughs> it's like, this is a guy who is not comfortable with uh, females having their cycle. Yeah. So I go back there and I said, have you not trained your guys that this is natural? Uh, anyway, she, uh, she hooked it up. Everything I needed was right there for me. She was happy to give it to me, which just helped me to remember that everything that I need is always provided to me. Maybe not everything that I want, but most certainly everything that I need is always right there for me. And um, I'd say just a final thing about coming back here is how important it is just to come back to the basics. Helps to calm, Anxiety helps to remember really what life's all about when you're not in the mix with, I tend to compare with everybody else and try to figure it out, you know, figure out how to live life right. Well, there's no right way to live and you can see that in nature. There is no right way. There's just the way that works the best for you, <laughs> which is a journey in and of itself is figuring out what is it that works the best for me. Like, you know, a lot of parents, I hear them saying, I, I just wish that this baby came with the, with the user manual. Well, honestly, sometimes I wish that I came with the user manual because I don't always know what's gonna, what I'm gonna like the most or enjoy the most or what's gonna tick me off the most. I don't, you don't, I don't know until I get in there and I experience it, which brings me back to what I said at the very beginning. Maybe I didn't in the beginning of this video, but one of the videos we've done out here is you don't, you don't learn by knowing. You can read as many books as you want to about what it takes to, to do the trail, but ultimately you only ever learn 
from doing. <laughs> you have to do it to know it. And the more thing, different types of things that you try, the better uh, you'll be able to understand what it is that you enjoy. So test out different things. That's what I'm out here doing is I'm trying new things and different things to see what's going to work the best for Misty. What's going to help to bring peace and serenity inside and also joy not just peace joy inside and I don't have all the answers not even after you know three nights on the trail there's more to try there's more to test it certainly it's not comfortable it's not I mean comfortable is what you already know and I don't know everything that there is to know about myself or certainly about the world and my tendency I don't know about yours but my tendency is to grasp to grasp for whatever it is that I already know. Like when we left our first campsite, I was like, no, 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 I don't want to leave this camp. I want to stay. It's I want to stay here. I, I finally found the place that I like the most. It's, I'm good. But of course, our plan was to move on to the second site. And I, so I got to that second site and I was like, oh my God, I love this place. This is so perfect. I didn't want to leave the next morning. I'm like, you know what? We could just, we're already all set up. We'll just stay. <laughs> But that wasn't the plan. Then we come up here to the third site, and there's a beautiful little river waterfall. What is this called, Yvette? A stream. A stream right next to our tent that we can hear. It's so beautiful, the birds, and it's open. Just a different campsite. Each one of them had their own benefits. But if I would have just, if I would have just stayed in the first one, I would have never known the second one was actually our favorite. Uh, so far, anyway, there's more to do, just not on this at this exact time. There's more to test out. So, you know, my, my biggest thing is that I'm learning right now, not just from being out here, but in life, is we have to try out different things to figure out what it is that you like. And that you have to find your own user manual for your own joy and happiness and peace and serenity inside, as well as test out the edges of, you know, frustration and fear. Because they're the ones that let us know when we've gone a little bit too far. Not bad, not good. It's just a great barometer for what works and what doesn't work. So it's kind of a, a little bit of a long video. And I'll just say um, thanks for listening in. And it's been a joy to be out here. And I can't wait to come back out. If you found this video to be helpful, by the way, push the share button. If you've had a similar experience or maybe you have an idea for me on what else I could go try that would be a challenge and maybe even help me understand myself even more and anybody else who's listening or reading, by all means, leave a comment. Until next time, I'll just say peace out.